Hey everybody, Thermal Mike back here at Newegg Studios and boy do I have a custom PC to show you. Right here behind me I have our custom liquid cooled PC powered by an RTX 2080 graphics card and that right there is the new Thermal Take VGTX 20 series RTX 2080 2080 Ti custom water block. Now I had a lot of fun putting this all together so we could be able to cool as we are Thermal Take this awesome Zotac RTX 2080 graphics card. And the Tower 900 was the perfect choice to be able to house this in to get proper cooling, not just for that new GPU, but of course for that CPU as well in this custom dual loop configuration. Now if you want to learn more, visit our website at thermaltakeusa.com and definitely check out those pre-orders we have already for the new RTX 2080 water block, DIY liquid cooling solutions, and more here from Thermaltake. So we chose the Tower 900 case because first off, it's gonna be able to support just about anything and everything that you can put in there. I mean, if you have a giant graphics card or you have a high demand for liquid cooling, this Tower 900 is dual loop capable. So being able to house up to two 560 radiators in the back or 480s or whatever you wanna put in there, you have just about as much cooling as you think you could need to be able to cool something with today's tech and today's hardware. With the case itself uh, being able to pull almost every single panel apart, everything can come out down to the frame, makes it definitely a modder's choice for people that are looking to you know, do custom panels, do something modding, or just you know, painting some accents and stuff on the case. It really gives you a lot of options because most everything that's in there down to the motherboard tray is removable, which makes it easy for installation as well as customization. I've integrated our PR22 D5 pump plus and one of the things I like about the Plus Pump is that it has integrated addressable LED lighting, and that's gonna be all synced up with everything else that's in there. The water block, the fans, and the LED strips. To be able to give something, you know, more one of a kind, and be able to make it customizable with, you know, 16.8 million colors of fun. And then of course with the tube work and everything, I wanted to do something a little bit different. It's just fun to be able to get creative with this. It's a passion of mine to be able to do something like this. I kind of mimic NVIDIA's claw logo. It might not look exact, but I think it kind of gave a little bit of an emphasis on it and I think it came out great. So what I did here was we're using our pure clear coolant. So it's basically just a transparent clear coolant which can work in the system. And I usually recommend to change the coolant about every 12 months. But then with a pure clear base color, it allows me to get a lot of options for what color I want to go with for it. With this, of course, the NVIDIA launch, I wanted to go NVIDIA green, and with that we used our UV green concentrated dye. Now with the concentrated dye, the thing I like about it is I can mix it and match it with all the other concentrated dye colors to make a one of a kind color, and or be able to use this in lots of different liquid cooling to be able to get a custom look and get the right color that I want. I gotta say, the thing I'm most proud of probably here is the tube work. It's a big highlight of what I like to do. I mean, anybody can build a system and put it together, but it's how you tie everything together, especially with like the liquid cooling, that can really set the tone for the build and change it drastically. So I think one of the neat things I like about just specifically building in this case and partnering with Asus is the synchronization. So all of our Thermal Take Plus family products is a part of our TT RGB ecosystem. And with our TT RGB ecosystem, we've been able to partner up with companies like Asus to be able to synchronize it directly with their motherboard using our TT Sync controller. Now, one thing to mention, the sync controller that we have is a 5 volt addressable LED solution, which is different from a 12 volt solution that you would see where you get just a single color. 5 volts will give you animation, so it gives you just even more immersion into being able to customize your RGB. And of course, with that being able to sync right up with ASUS, you're dealing with one app, one software, one control to be able to set everything up seamlessly. So of course we do love working here with Asus at Thermaltake. We use a lot of Asus products and we definitely appreciate their support. 
We have their X299 motherboard here, which looks great. We got that going with a 7900X Intel CPU, and we got some of the new Samsung 970 M.2s in there as well. So plenty of storage, plenty of performance and speed, and of course with Thermaltake to cool everything, it just makes a perfect combination. Now this new Ring Trio fan is basically the next version from our Ring Plus. This actually supports 30 LEDs, 30 addressable LEDs, but one of the things that makes it different and apart from the rest is the fact that it has three different zones. So I actually have a zone in the front, the back, and in the middle of it that I can change different animations and different colors. All 30 LEDs can be a different color, or you can be able to mix and match the different modes and lighting effects to be able to get something really one of a kind. And it doesn't stop there. The other thing that I've really liked about what we're doing next is the new Alexa support. So we've teamed up with Amazon Alexa to be able to offer voice command control as well for this once enabled to be able to set up stuff like being able to switch to any of the 21 different modes that we currently have available now or to just ask the system what the weather's like and be able to see the weather and colors from if it's raining to get a nice blue animation effect to a nice sunny sky or even a thunderstorm with purple and white flashing lights to just give you something unique, something different, something more than just standard RGB. I think some of the biggest challenges I have is just the new hardware, the new tech. I mean, uh, this was the first time I was able to actually put this water block on an RTX 2080 card. Um, and to be able to do that on camera for the first time, you know, can be a little bit of a challenge, but I have so much fun doing it. So it, it just kind of comes natural, I think, for me. But other than that, I would say just trying to get everything lined up together, putting all the tube work, um, you know, being able to create this kind of a design that I have. Um, and just kind of think of what, you know, what's gonna look cool and then just get it all to tie together. Now, one thing I can take away from this build is when you're doing liquid cooling, especially if it's your first time, always do your research. Make sure that you have the right products, the right components, everything, the compatibility, it's all gonna work together. It's a big investment. It's a large budget, especially for something like this. And the one thing you don't wanna have is the challenges of putting all that awesome all together and uh, when you go to put stuff there's going to be some you know bumps in the road that you may have and you just need to plan for it like with the tube work and everything practice you know buy some tube do some bending before you even get to this point being able to kind of figure out how to do a basic 90 can really help you out in those long nights of putting that system together the first time especially if you got a heads up if you're going to be doing something like a hard tube type of uh, diy lcs build like this all right, everybody, we had a blast here building in this custom PC. Definitely a huge thank you again to Intel, Asus, G-Skills, Samsung, Zotac, and of course, Thermaltake to bring this custom PC to life. I mean, I just had a blast. Hope you guys liked the video as far as going through the entire process of doing this custom dual loop liquid cooled PC here behind me. And of course, all these parts you can find here on Newegg.com. And until next time, we'll see you back here at Newegg Studios.